What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. <laughs> Latest chapter of King and Omega came out uh, yesterday, I believe. And it was a flashback, really. But the strange thing is, it was kind of, the way it played out was kind of BS. And what we're getting at is the, the backstory behind Nicholas Ledbanner. Who isn't really Nicholas Ledbanner? It's actually just, for all intents and purposes, an obsessive fan. A stalker, if you will. Now, remember, we talked to Nicholas' brother, and we discovered with the, the chick that was there that the person who's participating in the, the purgatory versus Kengan whole thing, annihilation thingy, it's not Nicholas. It's, in fact, somebody who was in Nicholas' squad named Jean-Luc. And I believe he's French, so it should be pronounced Jean. But, yeah. So, when we end the flashback, he, we're in the perspective of Jean-Luc. And he admits that Nicholas Le Banner is... The best shot, the best marksman, the best fighter, the best soldier didn't have to be part of this unnamed squad. He could have gone off to be a hero, but decided to do this anyways because he is an upstanding gentleman who then later, it was unveiled, we don't know why, but he murdered everybody, murdered the whole platoon and civilians and was like, tonight's a great night for you to die, John. Come, let the Grim Reaper scythe swing. And he, they start wrecking. John is like, no, Nicholas, you're the hero. You're supposed to be the best. Why are you doing this? And they're wrecking, pow, pow, pow. And it looks like the real Nicholas has the upper hand. Like, he's smiling, he's dodging punches. And then the next the next page we see, Jean-Luc, body Nicholas. Straight put this man six feet under, you know what I'm saying? Made him stop breathing. And then he's like, this is the crazy part. Jean-Luc thinks to himself, how can Nicholas be laying there? He's the protagonist. And then he's like, aha. You're not the real Nicholas. I'm Nicholas. I'm the protagonist. This is how it was always supposed to be. I'm Nicholas the whole time. It was me. And he changes his hairstyle, his persona. He becomes the new Nicholas Leban. How crazy is that? Could you imagine being so obsessed over somebody that you beat them in a fist fight and you say, this isn't how it's supposed to be. I'm not supposed to beat you. I must be you. That's the only way this makes sense. That's nuts. That is nuts. But yeah, so that's the whole story behind that. Um, I really wish we could figure, and I hope maybe they unveil this later. Why was Nicholas betraying his squadron? Why did he just go on a massive killing spree? Because he seemed like a nice upstanding dude from the flashback. And then I'm guessing John Luke got in contact with whoever Nicholas was working with. And they were just like, oh, you want to be Nicholas? Cool, here's your next mission, Nicholas. And they're just using him as a pawn. So I'm kind of, everything kind of fits from what I said. I feel like there's maybe two missing puzzle pieces that'll be unveiled during the fight with Akoya. And really it's, it's twisted mind versus twisted mind at this point. This is a perfect pairing of two crazies fighting each other. Akoya is losing senses in his body parts and he, he literally couldn't feel his hands. So he was just like, you know what? Nah. I don't need hands. And he like bites into, into John's neck right here. Bow. You see that? And this probably will get demonetized now because of the blood spatter. But yo, it's crazy. They're about to do whatever. Well, at least Akoya, he's going to do whatever it takes to execute justice. And Nicholas, we don't know what his end game is, but we know just based off that flashback, he has the potential to beat somebody that's beating, that has beat tons of special show, tons of special soldiers. I can't talk. I don't know why. And, and, and civilians, and who was the greatest in the the a squadron of the elites in some type of armed force. Jean-Luc versus Okoye. Who's going to win? I, honestly, at this point, I don't know. I feel like Okoye has to win. But it's King and Omega. Anything goes. Anyways, hopefully, um, you know, how did y'all like this chapter? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the social media jazz. Also, I got a podcast out, The Otaku Kingdom. Make sure y'all go check that out on all streaming platforms. Wherever you listen to podcasts, Otaku Kingdom is going to be on it. New episode coming out Sunday. Peace.